Oh, it's 4.08 p.m. Tuesday, 24th of October, 2017. I did do a brief test, but um, I, didn't, I didn't keep the recording because it, it had my... Um, it's a weird angle. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I didn't, uh, it's a weird angle. Uh, what did I say? I, I didn't, um, oh yeah, because it recorded the desktop, you know, and I did my time management re video, so I had to, so I didn't, I just deleted that. It was like two seconds, like five seconds. Anyway, it's not, nothing. I just said, testing, testing. So I uh, shaved myself, shaved. Oh, I'm going to shave this area tomorrow because I found that uh, razor, you know, that I used to shave my legs. Uh, so I'm going to use that tomorrow. Um, I guess I actually made a booking for an electrolysis, like a cons initial consultation and one hour of electrolysis at this uh, place called Permanence. In Sydney uh, and if it if I like them and they you know they seem to be they seem to cater to transgender women because uh, the you know they've had the website has a whole section on it and apparently there's this they're holding this information session where these surgeons are going to come from you know like favorite like people yes me too 4:30. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta drop my mom off at the temple before I go to the uh, class. Oh, she just said that she was she's gonna pick up a friend or something. You know. Anyway, so I made a booking of um, so this is good because if if this works out, I can. I'm free to book at any other times like so I don't have to be limited to Friday I actually rescheduled that appointment at, on, on to December because uh, I didn't want it to conflict with the class so um, uh, the booking of him I made for this new place it's in it's in the middle of the city right in the city so it's uh, you know uh, I made it for the t 13th of November at 12.30, so I hope it goes well, because mm -hmm. I would like to have my electrolysis done in a much more consistent basis than, uh, than you know, like I can do it more or uh, it'll be more convenient for it because it'll be like I can choose Monday to Friday <laughs> any day if there, there are times available. Mm. So I hope it works out. Um, yeah. So I got up again at 5 a.m. And you know, one thing I realized today, because I've been seeing all these time management videos and I feel like I have to really like push myself. And now I realize, oh my God, I, I'm, I think I'm pushing myself way too hard. And I'm finding myself getting overwhelmed and stressed and anxious. So I've tried to, I'm, I'm trying to pull back a bit and be a little bit more like go at my own pace you know not not put not make it so difficult for me that I just you know I just like implode because it's so, so I, I'm going to be more flexible I have done I did 30 minutes of study 30 minutes of job search and I did my voice practice I prepared my veggie stew I cooked my veggie stew I did all of those things which are important but I, I planned on doing one hour of job search and two hours of study. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, that's like no space to do anything. So I, uh, that's just like way too much for me. At the moment, I, I want to gradually increase it, but not just immediately. Just That's just it's too much uh, at this moment in my life. I also applied for like, pay, like today morning for some reason, I had this 
feeling of becoming a, 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 a pastry chef, like a vegan pastry chef, like I want to make cakes and, uh, you know, vegan pastries. And uh, so I was looking into courses on that. And I also like applied for two jobs <laughs> on being a pastry chef. I don't know if I'll be called, but and I was thinking to myself, you know what, I could make these cakes and pastries and I could sell them online and have my own business. I was like, I was thinking about that. I don't know if that's, that's just like some kind of a temporary distraction or if it's, because I was thinking like, what do I want to do with my life, you know? Like, what do I, I keep on asking myself that question. What do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do with my life? You know, um, yes, I feel on the one hand I have to get a job as a legal practitioner because I studied so hard for it. Well, I didn't study that hard, but I but I did all the courses and everything, so I feel like I am obligated to do it. And you know, I also want to pay back my student loans and stuff. So. And, you know, and on the other hand, I'm like, do I really want to do this? I mean, do I really want to do this? So I'm just like sort of wrestling with those issues. Like, what do I want to do? What do I, what, what do I like doing? So this in the morning, this idea of like making really good looking cakes and stuff really sort of inspired me. Um, but I'm not sure if that's... If, if I could, uh, maybe I would want to do it as a hobby, but I'm not sure if I would do it as a job. I'm not really sure. So, hmm. yeah, my weight today was 60.9. Yesterday was 60.61. So it sort of kind of fluctuates around that 61, 60.9.8. I think I just measured it right now, it was 61.0, so, yeah, so it's around that area. Um, I've, I've moved my exercises up to six minutes, six minutes a day from five. I've also incorporated praying into my morning routine, so I'll do like five minutes of prayer. I've been seeing a lot of, uh, watching a lot of uh, religious themed videos. I'm also listening to this audible book called uh, Captiva Captivating Woman or something. It's about like, what does it mean to be a woman from a Christian perspective? And uh, I don't know, like things like that sort of help me feel good, you know, keep me positive and like, it gives me good positive feelings and yeah, because I know that I can be so irritable. <laughs> I can be so irritable and so defensive and like my mind automatically like I get I get so triggered like with emotional flashbacks and I want I realize now that I get a lot of these emotional flashbacks. I wasn't even like paying attention to them but I, I get them all the time. Uh, like these negative fe memories or feelings. And uh like I'm always, even in my thought processes, I'm always very defensive and like uh, always very defensive. Like people are criticizing me or, you know, like all those, like I'm always, all, even in my thoughts, I'm always defending myself, like always fighting, you know. It's like I'm, I feel threatened, like people are uh, trying to hurt me. People are trying to hurt me and I'm always trying to defend myself. Mm. So listening to these uh, Christian things and you know they, they, I don't know they just speak to my heart in a way, make me feel like oh I don't have to fight for everything I can rely on, ugh, I can rely on God. Or, yeah, I've been trying to do that. I've been trying to re rely on God to like not feel like I have to depend on myself. Like allow. I've been asking God to. You know, that in Christianity, God gives you grace uh, and you don't earn it. You don't do anything. You receive it. So I'm trying to ask God to, I'm trying to ask God to open my heart so I can receive, like, because I feel like I have to earn it, but you can't earn it. Um, so that it's, it's actually much harder, it seems, to receive something freely, unmerited grace unmerited favor 
I feel like that is so hard for me to do because if I feel like I have to always, uh, I don't know, it's hard for me to open myself up like that. Like there's some internal resistance to receiving God's grace. I feel like there is some internal resistance or something. And I'm wrestling with the whole thing. Of, oh, what does the Bible say about being transgender? It doesn't say anything about being transgender. How do I reconcile my transgender identity with the Bible? And how do like LGBT people in general deal with that? You no. Know? I think the Anglican Church has opened up its the or the Episcopal. Yeah, they have uh, gay priests or something. Um, at the end of the day, spirituality is important to me. Like I am sort of, I have a, I am drawn towards Christianity, but um, I don't know, and I, I kind of like some of these. Um, uh, doctrinal things but I found there's a, I did a Google there's this guy this he, he's a trans man I think he 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 wrote a book on trans gen, gen, gender and Christianity I should get that book um, I, I think he's a scholar <clears throat> he's actually a, an academic and he wrote a book on um, apparently the definitive book on how to be a on how to be a Christian and how do you reconcile. And I found this YouTube channel where there, there's another trans man who was talking about being Christian and transgender. So, uh, yeah, so that's another thing I was like wrestling with. Oh, oh man. I'll be so glad to get rid of this stem uh, hair, or this facial hair. I want to fill in the work on the top because I think there's a lot of hair here that can be removed. Although I took plenty of naps today, but I managed to do a bit of my work. 30 minutes of study, 30 uh, minutes of job search. So little by little, keep on going forward. Oh no, please don't bark, please don't bark. I'm talking to my dog. Please. Oh yeah, I, I, I've been arranging my makeup box. I've been bringing my makeup in there. And um, so I've been doing a bit of housekeeping, like 30 minutes a day of housekeeping. I've already done my calendar for today. I did it earlier because and uh, I'll be going late around nine, so I don't want to have to do my time management then. I've got lots of lipsticks and stuff. I'm gonna like throw all of that. I'm not gonna like throw it in the garbage. I'm gonna give it to this recycling place. Like, um, you know, so I'm just wearing a skirt. Skirt for me. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to this recycling. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I've been getting thinner. I just, I just wanted to keep on doing my exercises, but I don't want to force it because if I force it, then I'll injure myself because my body is not used to exercising. I want to slowly, slowly build it up. Slowly build it up. Uh, put that in the side. 
also bought all of these hair combs. I've got these combs. Mm. This, I, I found that rat tubes comb. Yeah. Now I know what that is for. That's for the parting. I hope this is clean. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll wash it. Well, I'll wash it first. are gonna be there. Jesus. <sighs> I'm gonna cry these people. So like I'm leaving early at 4.30 today, otherwise I will usually leave at uh, 4.40. Oh, I hope this volume is recorded properly. should be enough. Oh god. Let me go up that side. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's so bad. Oh my god. Why is this so bad? Really, it's actually kind of emotionally stressful for me when I have to do this all the time. I just <sighs> my hair is not grown properly for me to actually style it properly. I look so stupid. That's me being negative and critical and irritable. I get like that very quickly. Good hair, look at it. It looks like crap. Look, it's so bad. Oh, it's like fucking bald. I'm gonna explain that. It's like, Jesus, it's so freaking bad. So it's 5.26 p.m. Ugh, my hair is shit. <laughs> looks so miserable. I actually tried combing it again. And um, look at that. It's just, that area looks really bad. See, I need to get... Yeah, whatever. It's like... Ugh, it's so horrible. It's just... Oh, it took such a long time to come here. It's like, oh, I'm so tired. I look kind of miserable. It's very stressed out. Oh, my back hurts from sitting in this job. Oh, this horrible thing. What oh, day is it? Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Anyway. <laughs> I'm in a 
pretty bad mood. I'm not feeling like being around doing a class. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. But whether I am feeling it or not, I have to oh, go to class and do my um whatever. I think my stomach is growling. I had my breakfast at around 6.45, 6.50, so it's 7 o'clock. So I'll be having my dinner around 9. That'll be like 4, um, yeah, 14 hours between meals. Fourteen hours between meals. All right, I'm gonna go in now. Um, it's eight twenty-seven. I am leaving class. Oh, I talked a bit in class. Well, they they're asking questions, everybody. So I answered some questions. My voice <clears throat> wasn't that bad. <laughs> Uh, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna go home now and uh, I, I can take the car out, that's good. So it's uh, 4.06 p.m. Wednesday, 25th October 2017. Um, <clears throat> I, I didn't shut the program down so I'm going to uh, test uh, the recording okay the, <clears throat> the program seems to be working uh, the uh, oh, keeps on telling me to update the software there's an update so <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go to the class I took a shower today. Yes, that's good. I was uh, lying down a little bit here and there, trying to recover my energy. Um, so, uh, I got up around seven because I felt like I needed to sleep in a little because I slept. I uh, went to sleep late yesterday, 11, 11 ish. Where did my voice practice? I prepared and cooked the veggie stew and uh, so I did an hour of job search. I applied for this voluntary position. Um, uh, in, one of the, in a community organization that caters to, that provides disability services. <clears throat> mm. Oh yeah, I got an, uh, I'm trying to speak, not that grumbly, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. um, I guess, you know. Um, mm. I got an email yesterday uh, when I was in the when I got to the college. I checked my I think after I made my short clip, I checked my email and uh, the volunteer coordinator for the Darlinghurst course. She said she told me and my, my the the other person who does it, the court is closed on Wednesday and Thursday. So I won't need to go tomorrow. And I just felt so good. Like, oh, yes. Yes, yes. Good. I feel like it's a real relief. I'm still trying to uh, 
uh, find a routine and this time management that works for me. I'm still, uh, you know, experimenting with the times. Mm. I'm not really going to tell them to take a lot of the hair on the top. Uh, uh, I really do need to get that removed. Oh, yes, a oh, balding spot, which is sort of being. Uh, Hair is starting to grow back a little bit, even though it's still pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad there. <sighs> oh, I'll try to be nice to myself. I'll try not to be so critical. Um, you know, it's, it's a good lighting for the uh, I've got to drop my mom and her friend off well I'm not dropping them off actually I'm just um, uh, good evening my mom says she will drive the car to the temple and then so I'll just ride with them and then when they get off at the temple I will take the car and Go to the uh, yeah to the college. I do feel a bit tired, uh, uh, but I got lots of things done today. So that is good. Oh yes, I did. Uh, tra I transferred like um, hundred and fifty dollars from my bank account to my PayPal account. Because I think it, it's it. Uh, I'm not sure if it because I, I I'm not sure if this is how it works. But if you have funds in your PayPal account, um, use those funds to pay. You might not get charged extra. I don't know how that works. And so anyway, I'm going to buy my uh, replacement foundation, and I'm also going to get a um, <clears throat> jojoba oil. It's 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 uh, it's it's pronounced jojoba, but it's J O J O B A, uh, and also like a rose tonic. Um, at this place, I order. Other things, it's called iHerb, iHerb.com.au. I want to buy a um, desert essence jojoba oil and um, an Acure rose tonic. Mm, because I want to um, apply that uh, at the night. Huh? Uh, we can leave at 4.25. 425. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to deal with stress, <laughs> anxiety. Uh, yeah. I notice I notice that I can get very, very agitated, irritable, very quickly. 
Mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I wasn't always like that. I have become like that. So, I, I guess I could go back to a way to how I was before or better than how I was before. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't wash my hair. Oh, I'll just wear this lipstick as well. It's good that my mom's driving because I feel kind of tired. So it is a warm day. Warm day. Someone's wearing a skirt and nothing. Try and do the parting properly before I. Uh, I'm wearing that white uh, thing. It's a bit tight. I tried the black one, but it was like it was it was sticking out, like a, and then it's like oh, it just didn't look right. Well, my hair feels better because for the past few days it's been very oily. Okay then, so uh, I better get going. Oh, I better get going. And uh, that's better. That hairstyle is a little bit better than last time. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, yeah, it'll be okay for now. Uh, no, I'm coming now. I'm coming now. Okay, come. <laughs> so it's 5.20 um, p.m. So I got here. Um, oh my God, driving is so stressful. It is so stressful. And then like, like um, <clears throat> you know, my mom had to drop pick up her friends and then take them to the temple and then you know I can understand Tamil I can understand what he's speaking so that one of the one of her friends uh, misgendered me and I just got so depressed and then she did it again and, but this time my mom corrected her, which is very surprising. I didn't... Uh, <laughs> so my, when she said it again, my mom... Oh, she, was, she wasn't talking to me or... I don't, I don't know, she just sort of... Because they were sort of saying, Oh, we've got to go quick because, you know, I have to have uh, class and all that. So, um... The second time... Uh, or whatever, she, my mom corrected her and I, I'm like... Okay, it's good that my mom corrected her. Actually, when my mom corrected her, uh, she said something like, Oh, I forgot. 
so so I think my mom must have told him about her, my transition and all that. But I still found it quite depressing and uh, misgendering is a way of erasing my identity as a woman. That's what misgendering is. It, um, especially when people do it intentionally. It's very hurtful because you're basically uh, trying to erase my gender, a part of my identity that makes me who I am. So it's, uh, it's quite depressing when people do it. So I had to suffer through that kind of psychological experience. I was feeling okay before the misgendering happened. <laughs> anyway, so then I had to drive all the way here. And, oh yeah, someone else was, uh, I know I applied for that disability thing and I got a call like right when my mom, you know, they were, she was leaving the car. They were getting dropped off. Uh, then I got this call. I didn't answer the call, but I answered the picked up check the whole voicemail and it was that disability thing and that and I called him uh, yeah and then I got to someone else and they're like speak up I can't hear you <laughs> what the fuck and uh, I told them my name and then I, I just got so flustered so I just put the phone down and I said I'll call them tomorrow I'll, I, I will call them tomorrow I don't have to call them right then. So it was all a bit of a anxious, stressful, and this whole ride back is so stressful. It's like, so I'm a bit flustered. I am a bit flustered, flustered. A bit flustered. Flustered. I'm trying to not go into that grovelly thing. Uh, so around here it seems not to be not to be so grovelly. I don't know why it's getting grovelly here when I go to a certain place. Um, uh, so if I speak like this, if I speak like this, it's not grovelly. But if I, you know, speak at my normal range, normal, <laughs> I mean, not my normal, like my, uh, the range I don't want to be my normal, the range I'm trying to get away from. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, I'm yawning. Um, I'm going to try and keep myself. I, this is what I should do. I should actually um, read, read, practice reading with this kind of a level, with, with within this range. Because the more I practice reading, the more confident confidence I will get. Hey. Anyway, so, yeah, mis misgendering trans people is erasing their identity. Don't do it. <sighs> anyway, so, uh, I need to plug, plug some more eyebrows. Because I think if you have a lot of, uh, if your eyebrows are very, strong it's a sort of a masculine trait but if your eyebrows are thinner then it's more feminine and you see how this this stuff over here it sort of juts out that, that's a brow bone like women don't like that's usually uh, but but some but there are women who have stuff like that so it's not like a but most women, they don't have that kind of thing. It's, it's more like a, it's not a, 
like my eyes are sort of the socket is in whereas if you see women's eyebrows it's more like a flatter mm, there I went back to the probably <laughs> I don't want to speak uh, at this uh, range but it's I, I, I've seen lots of uh, women you know cisgender women like that too so it's not like a really that bad but uh, if I make my eyebrows a little bit more thinner I think it'll make it less more feminine and uh, yeah, it might help a little bit <sighs> anyway it's a bit hot in here all right I'm gonna go to the glass now yeah. oh, it's 823 yeah. it's nice it's kind of windy, but it's warm. It's not um, cold. It's kind of like a. Well, it's not hot. It's sort of like a nice breeze. It's like a. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh my god, all these weird sounds. <laughs> going home. I am going home. What the hell is that thing? It's like a bird. I don't know. What's <laughs> it? Anyway, uh, so I did some work. I submitted an assessment, and uh, anyway, yeah. All right. Um, going home.